Uh, we just want to do a walk around of our blue 6x670 series. So this particular car was bought for us for R&D. It's the new J7 model. So it's, uh, I think it's a 2023 model. Um, and it was, we brought it out to do, uh, to build a vehicle for ourselves, actually. It was my replacement vehicle for my old 6x6. So because it was the J7 model, we wanted to do additional testing, etc. So we decided to build a new 6x6. So the platform, obviously, we've used is that 79 series. So this one's just before the updated uh, facelift. The, the problem was we got into this car and then Toyota decided to bring out a facelift model, so to change it all again. So technically now we needed the new facelift. So and a lot of people might have seen our new facelift at the Brizzy show, and we're gonna do a video on the walk around of our new facelift. But back to this one, pre-facelift 2023 model dual cab GXL. So a couple of the criteria on this particular vehicle was um, we kept it as a 4495 registered in the light vehicle space four inches 35s all done under SSM through AEV and JMAX. So um, particularly because this was for us, electronic alpha series shocks. Um, for those of you who haven't been in an electronic alpha vehicle, um, it's an absolute standout and, and we're showing, you know, what we can do with that system. Um, when the car went down to the boys at ARB, ARB have done bull bar, side rails, etc., and a bit of extra gear in that car. Just Auto's got the vehicle, did their tune on it. I think it's a stage three, so give that thing a bit more power. The big criteria for us on this build was 300 litres of fuel. So the guys at Brown Davis um, manufacture specifically what works with a Boss tray. So it's a 185 litre rear, just like we do in all of our 79 6x6s, six but adding the additional 160 litres of fuel, there's a fuel tank that's specifically built to work with the Boss tray. That gives us 300 litres of fuel, which is absolutely ideal for the 6x6. So not a lot of fuel tank options on the 6x6 just due to there's so much going on through the drive line and suspension. So room is at a premium. However, the tray design on this knocks it out of the park. So Boss Aluminium, one of their um, premium trays so the design was to go for a 600 mil dog box style canopy so not a big canopy but a full upright fridge everything ready for a full power package setup so a lithium setup so we'll decide shortly as to what lithium setup we'd run in that for that setup but again you know these things are a four and a half ton tow manual gearbox in this one so at 4495, we can do a manual gearbox at 5.3 in the truck space, also manual, but if you want to go to 5.8, you add an automatic transmission to this vehicle to get up to that 5.8 stance. So these vehicles can be pushed from light to heavy in two or three, in, in the two spaces in heavy quite easily. So it really comes back to what you as a customer or we as a customer or our specific car, what we want out of it. You know, do we want it in light vehicle, go to the pub, have a beer, whatever, um, or put it into the truck space, or whether you want to go auto in up to 5.8 tonne. All of those options maintaining a four and a half tonne tow capacity. So, you know, I, I suppose for us, ROH wheels, uh, load rated to meet the requirement. Maxxis tires, we use, look here as a business, we use, tons of Maxxis tires and they're one of our favorite tire brands probably the most popular one that we use here um, talk it exhaust so obviously talk it manufacture exhaust for j-max for all of our 70 series variants with coils etc and they have a specific system manufactured for us for the 6x6 so this thing runs a talk it exhaust a three and a half inch stainless exhaust so um, interior wise it's all as per oem we haven't gone crazy on it but um we can run you through, we'll do a walk around and show you some of the features of this vehicle. Standard on our 6x6, we have a 185 litre fuel tank. That is the standard tank. Now, the only other offering utilizing most tray setups would be 49 litres under the cab, which unfortunately is only about two jerry cans. So it's a lot of work 
uh, and a lot of effort for 49 liters. However, that's what's available on this particular um, vehicle, the way it's built. So unless you go and build, you know, custom stuff into a custom tray and go down that path, it makes it very hard. So the other option is, is with the Boss tray, with the Boss aluminium uh, tray, we're able to then run the uh, additional 160 litre tank. So what the guys have done is uh, at Boss is they've designed their tray to work around this specific tank. Again, a Brown Davis tank. But what that will give us is the 185 uh, and a 160. So it gives us about 300 litres of fuel. So this has probably been a big one, and, and even myself for my 6x6, I wanted more fuel for more distance. So that, that 300 litres was important for what we wanted to do, and this particular tank is designed specifically for that Boss tray, which is over here. We'll go over and... So this is your Boss premium tray, uh, a small canopy for this one. So specifically, uh, fridge on one side. Essentially, this tray combination on that particular vehicle with 300 litres of fuel uh, makes, that, uh, makes that a really well set out uh, vehicle for remote travel. You know, whether you're in the middle of Australia, uh, whether you're in, you know, Africa or Kenya or wherever, it, it gives you that good option for fuel. Oh, oh, oh.